Hey guys, what's up? I stacked the chart here from One Half Gazette here with my next war recap video. And this one was against Immoral Thieves and it was a loss for us. Um, good job to them. They were able to uh, get all our nines three starred, all the tens two starred. So standard kind of war that I talk about that we see a lot from high level war clans. And uh, as far as what happened for us, we had a we had a terrible war, just to be blunt. Um, our tens were spread thin, so not their fault for not getting the two star there, because uh, we were we were outmatched a little bit. They had a town hall eleven, and we only had uh, town hall tens. But that's really no excuse for us. And if you look, we left a number of town hall nines uh, not three starred. I mean, granted, granted these were like ninety nine percent most of them, but um, that's really no excuse. It was just kind of a bad war by all of us. And uh, when when you see these kind of performances it's it's never one person it's always um kind of a combination of different things happening everyone kind of has a bad war at once and uh it was during the week wasn't an arranged matched up it was just a random match that we had so uh you can say people were kind of busy but once again i'm not trying to make excuses and not trying to take anything away from me more thieves because they did a great job and uh even got our tens, uh, two star chaos was a pretty high percentage, so they definitely got the job done. So hats off to them for their good war, and uh, we're looking to bounce back from this one because it was tough. I mean, frustrating, but uh, we have an arranged uh, war this weekend, and hopefully we should bounce back and uh, really put some more time in, plan out the attacks, and get the job done because uh, it didn't quite work that way this war. But anyway, as always, there's always a good attacks to look at from this war. Uh, so we'll go ahead and get started. Not going to show any Town Hall 10 action just because there weren't any 3-star attempts. Spread way too thin. Uh, but there were some good Town Hall 9 3-stars mixed in here. And I want to show this base because I'm sure you guys see this a lot. It's called the General. Uh, it's a forum base and uh, it's been around forever. People still use it. And uh, I, I just wanted to show it because it can't hurt. And especially when it has 30-30 heroes. Um, it's not that easy to three star. If you, if you have max heroes, maybe it is, but it it's, <laughs> it it's something that you can always mess up on. And uh, I'm sure you guys are seeing this. So I just want to show how it can be three starred. One way to three star it. Um, one thing is they could have put a minion up on that cannon just as a free building right there. Um, but no big deal right there. It was much easier trade just to put a minion there, but he decides not to. Uh, instead, put these two minions down to create his funnel. Comes in with the golems. Uh, very nice spread on the golems. Tanking for everything. Then has the queen. Uh, a few wizards to create the funnel a little bit better. And then just going to drop a jump in just a moment. This is kind of how you want to go at this base. Go at it from the side where the queen is. Get in there with a jump. And uh, you can trigger one set of the double giant bombs, which are behind those air defenses at the bottom. Uh, so everything's making its way on in. The king's aggroing right there. This guy actually put some sneaky Teslas up there, I guess. So I didn't catch that when I watched it in the first attack. So I guess maybe the minions wouldn't have worked that well. But anyway, um, comes in. The king pops the ability. He's going to just take out uh, this section of the base. You can see those golemites are on that air defense. And uh, even if they don't take it down, it, the spot's been eliminated because uh, the hogs aren't going to path over it. There's no defenses to bother going to. So things are making their way around. Still has a lot of hogs he hasn't even deployed yet. This guy actually put his Teslas in weird spots. Typically you see some Teslas by the town hall in that little diamond compartment, but no Teslas there. Anyway, drops down the heel. Very nice. And uh, the pathing works out nicely if you do it right because the hogs don't run across both bombs. They kind of go to that archer tower, then they'll go up to that mortar. And I think they only trigger one of the bombs. Uh, so worked out very nicely there. Just the pathing isn't that good anyway. As long as you don't um, send your hogs into it in a bad fashion, you, you can avoid the double trigger at the same time. Anyway, though, has one heal left, been very patient on his hogs. Comes in here with the ho rest of the hogs. I'm not sure what the balloons were for, but um, just goes ahead and drops them here. And then has wizards for cleanup. Just wreck this base. I, I, know, I know it's a pretty easy base, to be honest. I just wanted to show it being three-starred because... Um, not everyone, you know, is going to three-star this base that easily, especially if you have lower-level heroes or something like that. So, anyway, uh, you won't see it every every time on my channel, but you'll you'll see it every once in a while. And it looks like Chief Pat just uploaded. Probably should turn those notifications off because I barely watch Chief Pat at all, um, just for the update videos mainly. But anyway, let's take a look at fifteen. Um, Jay Hale. 
or no, Jay Halil. Jay Halil taking on, Jul- yeah, so, Julio, something like that. Um, sorry if I butchered your name. Kind of hard to figure out. Plus the R at the end. Um, anyway, coming in here <clears throat> with a very nice attack. Uh, drops down the queen. Queen's going to do a very big queen walk right here. Um, I like how he's kind of sprinkling in the healers because he wants to get them as far to the right as he can just so the air defense doesn't lock on to them. Uh, so he's very patient on the healers, doesn't drop them earlier than he needs to. And that way they're going to be uh, out of range of the air defense once the queen starts making her way around the base. Uh, but drops that rage, that's going to keep her up when the enemy queen locks on. So right here, one point defense and the queen, but under rage, those healers have it taken care of. Doesn't even have to drop a poison on the queen or anything. Uh, that one air sweeper is actually helping a little bit by pushing back the healers uh, so they don't cut too close to that air defense. The test wall breaker, bit of a fail there. You have to drop the test wall breaker, then wait a moment because you, as you see right there, if you drop the next wall breaker too early, uh, the little bomb will get both the test wall breaker and the first wall breaker. So a little more patience, but no big deal. Uh, he has enough extra wall breakers to bust in right here. And uh, you can see it opened it up for the queen and the funneling works out very nicely. She'll just walk right in there and she has access to three air defenses actually. So a little bit of patience and she'll uh, eventually make her way deeper into the base. There's that lava hound, which is kind of a time sink, but that's pretty much it. Um, it's going to take up some of the time, but not going to be too big of a, <clears throat> of a threat to the queen, I guess. Comes in with a golem here and a uh, few minions, just creating a funnel. Going to drop the king down in just a moment. He's going to enter the base, kind of help with some of these defenses, uh, just because a lot for the queen to handle once she steps up. And hope he'll get that air defense for sure, so uh, making the queen's life a little bit easier. She comes, or he comes on in with the golem. Everything's locked onto the golem, which is very nice, and uh, has a few wizards backing it up to help get some damage going. And that uh, expo will go down, and the air defense, so everything's working out very nice here. Still has the two lava hounds plus the 11 balloons. You can see all those Teslas popping, so... Uh, his balloons do have a few things to deal with, but I think he has enough to get the job done. With the, with those uh, four haste spells, that's going to really keep the balloons moving. And right there, that next air defense goes down, and the balloons are going to start coming. I like how we started those balloons before the Lava Hound, just because he um, wants to make sure that they are getting in there as quickly as possible, and the Lava Hound's not taking any unnecessary damage. That one air sweeper is a bit of a nuisance, but... No big deal. Uh, has balloons coming in from every angle with those haste spells. They're going to get in there real quick, already on that air defense, and uh, that first Lava Hound will go pop, but the second one is still at like full health, and uh, right there, the air defense goes down. Healers are on the king, which is kind of cool, because uh, he's back at full health doing some tanking and stuff, and uh, just a few defenses left. I'll go ahead and go times two, because the balloons take a little while to get over there, but they get the job done, and uh, I, this might have been a little bit close on time. I, I didn't check at the beginning of the attack where the time started, but uh, whatever whatever the time was, he got the 3-star, which is what matters, with a very nice attack and still has a poison to spare. So awesome job to uh, Jaleel. Um, next base we're going to look at, we're going to go down to 24. I think some of you guys like seeing the bottom Town Hall 9s, and I, I to be honest, I don't show them that much in my channel, but um, you guys saw the top Town Hall 9s in my interview with a modder video. Um, so. In this recap, I'm free to show the bottom Town Hall 9 3 stars, uh, which is always something that people like seeing. Um, drops a few hogs just to get the lure. And one thing I want you guys to notice here is typically it's going to be hogs at the bottom of uh, the lower Town Hall 9 level. You see much more hogs and not as much dragons and stuff or Valks or stuff like that. Um, and when they use hogs, they bring, you know, at least 20 hogs because your heroes are lower level. Um, don't bring that many golems or much of a kill squad. Invest more in your hogs. Uh, Thor is coming in with a medium-sized kill squad, which can work. He does only have the 11, 14 uh, heroes, but bring some witches, which always get good value for your kill squad, especially when there's not that many uh, splash damage in the area. And uh, drops down that jump. I think that was because the king started walking. I'm not sure. I don't think the king was intentionally walking. Uh, so drops the jump down because he knows he has to get to the queen, and I think the golems can reach it. Yep, they're going to take that jump right there, so it worked out nicely. That one Tesla is taking out some of his witches, which is kind of a, a pain, but um, not that big of a deal. Uh, right there, 
Uh, the queen is shooting at his uh, king, but the king walks over. He'll get her taken out. So queen goes down, triggering some giant bombs, which is great. And I think one of his witches is still up, spawning skeletons. Um, sorry about that noise in the background. Uh, drops in some hogs here just to reinforce the kill squad, protect his heroes. Um, that's always good if you can deploy your hogs like that to help protect your kill squad because they tank for each other and you get good value there. Comes in with the first heal. Um, those hogs are pretty much at full health when that giant bomb goes off, so it works out great. And then he's going to reinforce, still has six hogs left, and he'll just kind of work his way around the base and reinforce as needed. Still has two heals, and the uh, golem's tanking, I think the golemite's right there, taken nicely. Pops the queen's ability, she's going to get a few of those Teslas taken out. And this one's pretty much over, uh, drops the poison for the skelly traps, which is something that people don't do quite enough. Um, you know, in the, in the heat of the battle it's hard, but if you still have a poison left, because there was like a lava hound in the CC or something, make sure to get that down on skelly traps or heroes because it does make a difference and it can get you a three star. Uh, it works out on the heroes to slow down their damage or on the skellies just to kill them uh, when they're beating on your hogs. So something to think about. Anyway though, awesome three star by Thor. We'll take a look at one more and then we'll wrap this one up. Okay. Last one is Matt on 25, a very new Town Hall 9. Um, and like I said, look at the hogs, 31. Um, just bring him two golems and his heroes. That's all the all the kill squad he needs here just to get in and take out the queen. And I think he gets like one or two giant bombs triggered. So that's pretty much all you're looking for. And then as a new Town Hall 9, hog pathing is very important because you're not going to get in there and trigger them necessarily, but you can use the deployment of your hogs Kind of like you saw in the last attack, how uh, Thor's hogs triggered that double set at the end. Same kind of principle, that's what you're going to see a lot, is uh, trying to path your hogs in so that they trigger the giant bombs, but you don't lose that many of them. Right there, you can see that one double set was triggered, um, so that was great. I think he knew where that was, so just came in with like six hogs there. They got in there, triggered the double set, only lost a handful of hogs, and still has a ton more to deploy. Uh, right there, I don't think he was expecting that double set, because it did take out... A big chunk of his hogs but still he's not investing that many hogs in each of these groups so like I said you know don't put all your eggs in one basket um, both double sets are triggered so even though he doesn't have that many hogs left he has um, enough to get the job done because there's no uh, giant bombs left that poison was great on the skellies and the king it's always good to poison the king if you can um, and the skellies are a bonus because the king can do a bit of damage to your hogs and by slowing him down with the poison he can't keep up with the hogs and he doesn't swing as often. So you can see another poison on the king, just, you know, dousing him in that poison. Great job there. And the hogs are able to make their way through the entire base because when there's no giant bombs left in the base, even if you don't have that many hogs, you can still get the job done, especially against this under upgraded point defense because obviously Matt still has maxed hogs, but the base is one or two levels lower on point defense and splash damage, which is also a factor. So uh, the hogs get the job done. And the queen is still up. Awesome. Helps clean up. Uh, this is a three-star, though. Awesome job to Matt. Uh, fast forward is that Dark Elixir storage goes down, and uh, it's a three-star. Anyway, though, hope you guys enjoyed the coverage of this war. Like I said, a tough war for us in Genesis, uh, but we're planning on bouncing back, and uh, hopefully we should be able to uh, have a very nice war in this one against Reddit Mutiny, which is coming up very soon, so stay tuned for some coverage of that. Anyway, though, thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye, Sectatron now.